What's up, everybody? Been a while, but here we are. Chris, Cardboard Crazies, here with you. Got a video for you. Finally found a place that had the 2019 Allen and Ginner, so I picked up a few different things. They didn't have the blaster boxes, of course. But we did get a value pack with 14 cards. We got a value pack with three Allen and Ginner packs in it. And then three exclusive gold parallel cards. And then we got ourselves one, two, three, four base packs of cards. So let's go ahead and start with, we'll go with the value pack first. Oh, this is like a hanger pack, blaster pack, cello pack, whatever you want to call it. So on the front, we've got a Derek Jeter. We've got Cole Hamels. We've got Justin Verlander. We have a mini of Luis Severino. That is just a base mini. No getter back to that. Still though, pretty cool Luis Severino. Then we've got a Jose Ramirez. Nice. Then we have an Aaron Judge. Pretty cool looking card there. We've got a Steven Piscotti. Or, as I like to call him, Stephen Pischetti. We have a, I think this is Giannis Cespedes. Yes, Giannis Cespedes. Then we have ourselves a Brooks Robinson, Brooks Robinson, Ginner Greats. That's pretty cool looking. So this is part of a subset of Ginner. Awesome. Then we have incredible equipment. This is Cupid's bow. That's pretty cool looking. We have ourselves another mini. This is Lost Languages, and it is the Chiwere language. Chiwere language. I cannot tell if that's a C or a G. Yes, it's a C. Chiwere. Chiwari language. Okay, so it, it looks like it should be some uh, a Native American tribe, but I can't really tell. Still a cool looking mini. We have a Matt Olson or Matt Olson, uh, Hank Aaron, and a Todd Hilton. So I think the numbers 301 to some, any number between 301 and up is going to be a short print this year. So I'm looking just really quick to see if we got, so this Giannis Cespedes would be a short print because it's number 374. I'm pretty sure that's right. So I'm going to set the Cespedes aside. We'll put the Ginner Greats in a stack. And the Cupid's bow, since those are subsets. And then we've got a 2, 22, 50, and a 105. So, Cespedes was a short print in that pack. From what I've heard. From what I've heard. Alright, so let's go through the base packs here. And in this base pack, we've got a decoy card. It's pretty cool that Target does that. Whoa, about knocked my camera over. So, we have a Ryan Braun, number 40. Not number 240, but it is the 40th card. Um, we have a Lorenzo Kane, number 38. We have a Lou Brock, one of my Cardinals dudes. Nice. And that is a short print of Lou Brock, so... Here's a second short print. We have a Kenley Jansen regular mini. We've got one of the flying machines here. This is the Messerschmitt Me um, 262, Messerschmitt Me 262, Fritz Wendell. The world's first operational jet fighter. So that's a pretty cool looking card. 
And then our last one is a Ralph Kiner standard card. Okay? Sorry if you hear the TV in the back. It's really loud. It looks like we may have... Yeah, we got a hit, guys. We did get a hit. So in this, this pack, we've got a Drury. Brandon Drury, 225. We've got a um, Ted Williams. Again, are greats. And I'm just going to take the back card off here. Starlin Marte, 239. Ted Williams here, again, are great. And then we've got a Beagle card. And our hit is going to be a Pirate. Oh, we got a Roberto Clemente bat piece. Check that out, guys. Look at that. That is a pretty nice piece right there, guys. That's pretty cool. So... There we go. We got put. We'll put Roberto in the back there. Hang out. And check out all the other cards that get pulled. Man, that that makes me excited that I pulled that. Okay. So in this pack, we've got Luis Gonzalez. We have a Stephen Paschetti. Yes, I know that's not how you pronounce his name, but that's what I'm gonna say, cause I wanna. We have a Robin Yount. One of my all-time favorite brew crews. 352, so that is a short print. I'm going to have to check that. I may be wrong, so don't hold me to that short print idea. Um, Cupid's bow again. You know what? I put the beagle down here with the non-mini. So Then we've got a Robin Yount mini with the Ginner back. Daggone. Hey, that's pretty cool. So we got a Ginner back, Robin Yount. We've got a Matt Chapman and another decoy card. This is why I love Allen and Ginner because you never know what you're going to get from a pack. It could be awesome and it could be kind of meh. Do we get a... Mm, that's a... All right, so we've got... <laughs> I just about said we've got Cox. Um... I'm going to go ahead and look at his name. Mason Cox. Um, he is... He's an Australian football player. So that's pretty cool. We have a Roy Halladay. We have a Masahiro Tanaka. We have a Perez, Salvador Perez, Ginner back. That's pretty cool. We've got us another flying card. This is the Supermarine S6B, Lieutenant John Hold on. Bouthman, Boothman. So that's pretty cool. Then we've got an Evan Longoria. And a decoy. All right, last last thing here. We're going to open up our three-pack blister pack of uh, the, the Ginner. We'll check our gold card, gold parallel cards out first. Then we'll check our, uh, our base packs out. So these are the, oh, these are gold-bordered minis. Maybe we'll get lucky and pull a cool rookie out of this. Who knows? Let's find out. We'll just pull them out one at a time here. So our first one is a Chris Davis Gold Border Mini. Our second, Juan Soto. That's a pretty cool looking card. And then our last is <laughs> right team, wrong player. Or I'm sorry, not right team, wrong player. Wrong player, rookie card. That's what I was looking to say. Kristen Stewart. He will be pretty good though. I'm gonna I'm gonna put some 
put some faith in this guy. I think he's going to be a, a masher before too long. I mean, he's he's shown some definite strides in a good direction this year. All right. So on to our packs. In this pack. Looks, no, okay. We're going to have Jeff Bagwell. We have Frank Robinson. We have a Tom Seaver. We have Dreams of Blue Ribbons. Insert, this is the Dizzy Bat. We have a Buster Posey. And a Larson, Jay Larson. All right, one more pack after this and we'll be finished. We have a Matt Carpenter. I uh, think it's Yusmail Diaz. No, nope, Edwin Diaz. My bad. Then we've got a Travis Pastrana. We've got a Mark Summers from Double Dare. We have a Miguel Cabrera baseball star sign. So this is his Zodiac sign, the Aries. And then we have an Ahmed Rosario. Last pack. We have Gonzalez. Juan Gonzalez, Juan gone. <laughs> we have Blake Trinan. We have a rookie card of Eloy Jimenez or Jimenez. That's a pretty nice rookie card right there to get. We have a black border of Ramon Loriano or Loriano. That's a pretty cool black border card, so we'll put that up there. We have a Mares and Stallions Irish Cobb horse card. And then our last card is a Gregory Polanco, and it is number 251. So we got a few short prints, a couple of rookies, the short, or a nice rookie. We got Jimenez as the rookie. We got Robin Yount, Lou Brock, and Cespedes as our three short prints. That's awesome. We got a few different kinds of insert sets. We got the star signs. We got the Ginner Greats. We got a couple of airplanes. Uh, incredible equipments. So those are awesome. Then we got a nice little stack of mini cards, which I love. I love the minis. I love that Allen and Ginner puts those in there. That I think that's one of the things that really sets their product apart from all the others um, is the mini card. Um, you know, these minis, I've I actually, when Bryce Harper was a rookie, pulled his black bordered rookie um, mini card, and I still have it to this day. But I love these mini cards, and especially since they have the different backs on them, like these Allen and Ginner backs, I love those. Love those. They're just, to me, they're really cool looking. So, got those, and then the main attraction of this break is this awesome, awesome Roberto Clemente bat relic. I think that makes it worth the price of admission. I love this card. Love the border. I love the frame relics of, that they put in, in Allen and Ginner. So really, really stoked to have pulled that. So I'm sorry it took so long to uh, do a video this week. Um, Allen, uh, Allen and Ginner 
apparently was not a very popular product in these parts. Not many of the places around me got them. Um, as a matter of fact, I had to go out of town about 45 minutes away in order to find any of them. And uh, just so happened to walk by them at Target today uh, in the city that I was in. And I decided I would pick up a thing, um, a few packs of it. Uh, I now almost lost hope, but then I passed those. And I was like, yes, I finally got some. So glad to have gotten those. I'm still waiting on a couple, or actually it's five, um, mystery packs that I got from eBay. Um, I got those tomorrow will be two weeks ago, and they're still not here. So I'm starting to get a little worried about those. Um, one of the sellers that was going to sell me a mystery pack canceled the order after a week of not sending it off. So we've not really had a lot of luck on that end. But I promise you, we're going to be here. We're going to be strong. Um, in a couple of weeks, I'm heading to the lake. I'm hoping, hoping to take some stuff with me to the lake to break out on the dock while I'm there, give you guys a little bit of a different background. Um, but I just want to say thank you all for watching. We are, at, when I look today, we're currently at 94 subscribers. We're really going for that push to get to 100 or over. At 150, we're going to do another giveaway. Um, this time, it'll be a little bit bigger of a prize than the first giveaway that we did at 50. Um, we're just thrilled to death to have you guys around, checking our videos out, commenting, and giving them thumbs up. Um, we're just really stoked to be here, and we hope that you guys continue to watch, continue to, to like and comment on the videos, and most of all, get the name out there, Cardboard Crazies, because you know what? We're crazy about this hobby. Um, thanks to people like uh, Eric, Eric Jabs and Jason, um, that True Seeker Sports and Memorabilia, um, that have really helped me uh, get the desire to be back in this hobby after having some really unfortunate things happen and um, not being able to be in the hobby for a while. So they've really helped me want and have the desire to get back into it. Thank you guys so much. You really, you really don't have a clue how many people you've helped out, how many people that you um, give any kind of interest to get back in this too. So Thank you so much uh, for all that you do for the hobby. So I'll leave it at that. I hope all you guys have a great night. I hope you have a great week, rest of the weekend. Uh, if you don't do anything else, remember, be a blessing to somebody. But most of all, I hope God blesses you. So if we don't see you before then, we'll see you next time. Peace out, guys.